you guys have seen me in the last year or two gradually get more attractive and gradually start changing things in my life to appear more attractive and these things are very very important and i want to share with you guys at least five things that i did to make myself more attractive if you guys like this video drop a like comment subscribe turn on notifications so you know if i post follow me on my on my instagram you guys will see me actually apply these things in my real life and you guys are going to see all of these things and if you need a little bit more motivation, you can follow me there for daily motivation, daily posts of me doing the same things that I'm talking about in this video. I'm not just going to be here telling you guys this, all of this information, and I'm not actually doing it myself. You get what I'm saying? This is the five things that I did to make me more attractive. The first thing that I had discipline, regardless of whatever happened to me, etc., I always sit down and continue with my goals and my and my path and say and i do what i say i'm gonna do if i say i'm gonna be uploading today i'm gonna be uploading today if i say i'm gonna be streaming today i'm going to be streaming today and that that is something that is entirely more attractive especially to when you say something and you have the discipline to do it then go ahead and even even so right let's talk a little bit about adult activity if if you have persons let's say let's say young ladies deciding okay um i want to do it with this dude and you say no you have no idea how powerful that no is for you over when you just take it. i'm telling you guys it works it works sometimes you might just say oh no i'm chilling or i just want to have a good time i just want to you know enjoy myself with you etc it's just just those things will make you look more attractive and seem more attractive don't go out there all thirsty and everything bro everything is not about you know those adult activities sometimes you just need to have a little bit of fun have a great conversation be able to talk to a person about life bro like be able to talk to this nice young lady about you know about anything bro like anything on this sun like i've had so many great conversations with people this year it's been crazy bro and we haven't even done it you get what i'm saying like those kind of things really i would say turn people on and make and make people like you even and that is one thing discipline competence attracts people and that's one thing that you have to have discipline the second thing i did really is that i improved my skincare and my hygiene now skincare and hygiene is very very important i've never gotten so many compliments about my skin than i did in the last year of me using now T is only just one product and this is for men so i'm um, this video is mainly for men so if you guys want to improve on your skin and everything like that i personally recommend teach handley teach handley sponsor me i can get you guys some some people you know sponsor me anyways but teach handley is a very very important skincare part of my routine right now it, it it made my skin so clear you guys can see my big ass forehead but it is smooth it is milky smooth bro i'm telling you bro like seriously you guys got to get a skincare routine it doesn't have to be t shanley i would say it has to be t shanley if they were sponsoring me but anyways <laughs> and enough of that i really believe that you guys should get a skincare routine make sure your face looks good and make sure that you glow when i walk into a room and the light hits me a certain spot bro golly that looks so good bro i'm telling you bro you come off as such a confident person and all of these things that i'm mentioning it boosts your confidence it makes you look more attractive to everybody males females etc it doesn't matter what it is people want to talk to you and that that is something that you need to do another part of your hygiene is smell make sure you guys smell good bathe at least at the very very least bathe twice a day sometimes i bathe three times a day depends on how hot outside it is get a very good cologne me yesterday i went to visit one of my friends and she told me i didn't smell like somebody um that just came out of the gym and that's because of my hygiene the fact that i didn't smell bad even though i went into the gym and was sweating just says a lot you get what i'm saying it says a lot to the hygiene that you have make sure that you guys go into anything and have proper hygiene you bathe you get up into the nooks and crannies of your skin and you take care of your skin this is our biggest organ we should take care of it drink plenty of water it helps with your skin etc 
make sure you wear deodorant etc etc make sure that if you have a beard you comb it and brush it out maybe use a little bit of beard oil or something like that to make sure that you you keep that nice and fresh make sure you get your hair cut every two or three weeks i gotta get a little proper lineup because my lineup is just i don't know my hair is a little bit weird right now but and use deodorant use deodorant guys like really put some effort into into all of this stuff that you've been doing the third thing that i personally do to that i did to boost my attractiveness was i got into the gym now i was a i was very very skinny i didn't have a chest i didn't have arms but i was having a conversation with somebody today a girl that i went to school with and she told me like the chad no and the chat then is so much this there's night and day different bro there's night and day different i'm more attractive i'm i'm more more uh, i'm i'm more confident all of these things guys you need to just start doing to make yourself appear and seem more attractive and more appealing to anybody it doesn't matter what it is get into the gym once you get into the gym you look way better you look way better when you're ring you guys look at me I start dressing better, bro. Like seriously, this shirt's a little big, but it looks really good when I walk around, bro. I'm telling you, I had a, a lady actually two weeks ago when I was leaving work, and in my body, like my body, I had on a polo shirt and the same pants, bro. And she was like, "If you were younger, it's it's that, and it's that easy. Once you look good, people are gonna naturally gravitate to you. We as human beings, we look at, we like beautiful things. We like things that are well put together." That is what you need to do when you get in the gym and you wear clothes correctly, bro. I'm telling you, you look real good. If you ask any of your female friends, right? Who's your celebrity crush? It's almost always a guy who is in shape. Trust me on that. It's almost always a guy who's in shape. They never say anything about any fat dudes, bro. I'm telling you, get in the gym. Get in the gym. I'm telling you. Anyways, the next one is i prioritize my goals and all of these things over women and partying now partying has never been something for me um going out has never really been something for me i was always a home buddy but i prioritized my i, I wanted to date that's that's the thing i wanted to date. i want to go on dates and i wanted to be more attractive to girls and some of the things that i did was i prioritized my business my youtube my community my job over all of that and in doing so i was able to not only have more money to spend when i do go out but also put more money into me, invest more money into me how i look and be able to confidently go out go out and date without having to really worry too much right without having to worry too much about how am i gonna get there how am i gonna do this if I didn't prioritize all of this over going out, I wouldn't have a car, bro. I wouldn't have money, bro. I wouldn't look this good, bro. I'm telling you, like, prioritizing these things. And on top of that, girls don't really like guys that pedestalize them. Like, I'm telling you guys, they don't, they don't, they only walk over guys that pedestalize them. So why are you pedestalizing girls when they don't necessarily like it? What you need to do is focus on everything and everything else focus on everything else and then treat girls right when when they're you focus on your work and everything right now i have people ask when am i gonna see you again that's a hell of a lot better than saying than the girl saying um oh i can't right now I'm busy. because i'm busy she i have to find time to fit her in you get what i'm saying so that makes that's that when a girl says that to you guys like seriously when a girl says that to you that means she's interested you already know this because you say she says to you when am i gonna see you next that's a whole lot better than her saying oh i'm busy you can't do this or whatever i rarely face reject you know why because even if it happens i'm like oh okay well back to work you get what i'm saying like this this it, it it doesn't matter anymore bro like seriously so prioritize and and when you start prioritizing your 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 work and everything over you have so much more freedom so much more things you have and you won't worry about rejecting 
and that's why I think what why I think it's hard. The next one is five. I set I set my ground rules day five. Now what I mean by that is no matter who it is, they have I have they have respect. They have respect for me. No matter where it is, whether it's in my community, whether it is talking to girls, whether it's talking to my family or friends, or even a random person on the street, I set rules and boundaries with everybody and I uphold them. To now, when you uphold somebody to a rule and, and a, a rule and and boundaries that is reasonable, then that person says, oh, wait, this is a guy that I can't play. With. This is a guy that I can't take any chances with. And it's especially important when you're dealing with girls. When you're dealing with girls and she does something that you don't really think is respectful and is not respectful to you, you let her know. Straight up. I don't respect that. That is not that is not very respectful to me. And then you hold them to that. You have a consequence for something like that. If a girl speaks to me out of out of um fight or out of disrespectfully, I don't talk to her no more, bro. That's the way it is. Because you know what? I can always go and talk to another girl. I could always go and do something else. And adopt this mindset because when you adopt this mindset guys rejection doesn't matter to you it these started things don't break your heart they don't make you feel like less of a person you feel more confident when going into situations etc understanding that everything is going to be okay makes you feel so much better i'm telling you guys everything is going to be okay i said there's clear set rules and boundaries when when it comes with me people are not gonna mess with my money people don't disrespect me and people don't treat me like crap i don't tolerate any of this and if it happens i'm out of there bro that's the last time you're talking that's the last time i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna show you kind of that's just straight up straight up the way it is so we're gonna just recap real quick have discipline have adopt a skincare and a proper hygiene routine go to the gym get yourself in shape guys prioritize your goals and dreams over women and dating you guys are young you have a lot of time to to prioritize your girl or whatever and even then when you do that you shouldn't prioritize your girl over anything else over your business that and anything like that and then the fourth fifth thing is you set clear rules and boundaries for yourself and when the persons are dealing with you and that's how you get more attractive guys and that's how i so hopefully this um, helps you guys. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications so you know if I post. I'm gone, y'all. Yeah.